There's, there's a bit of an age gap between them. Obviously, Gary has his own children from his previous marriage. Um, uh, Danielle obviously has a child as well, but they don't have any together. Is that something that you can understand, the, the emotions behind that? Completely, but what, what seems strange is after six years, mm. they're having this discussion. Um, I know when Rod and I first met, um, in, in pure, you know, honest, open conversation, um, uh, right from the beginning, I said my, my biggest wish is to have children one day. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted him to know straight away that that, that's, that was my, my forever dream. You know, yeah. I, I couldn't exist without having you know, given birth. That was always what I wanted. And as far as marriage, that wasn't so important. Um, and, and likewise, he was just as honest. He said, I have a very big family. I love all my kids. And I, I really haven't had enough time to spend with them while I've been out working hard mm. and, and being away on tour. Um, so I can't see myself having any more children. But at that point in our relationship, we were just having fun. And there was mm. no sort of seriousness about our future. Yeah. Years go by. Um, and the subject from, a, you know, occasionally was brought up. But we were both on the same page. And then I dropped silent. And I thought, well, he, he knows what I feel about it. And then I chatted with my girlfriends. And I, I said, I just don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm completely falling in love with this Because it's man. a big ask, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To not have children. Um, but I know that I, I just don't think I could live without children. But I'm like, I can't make that decision. I don't want to leave the man I'm in love with. But I know I want children. And I just, I never knew when I would get to the edge uh, mm. of having to make that yeah. decision. Mm. And also, you, you don't know if, you, yes, you love somebody desperately, but will you quietly resent them as, as once that, that marker has passed yes. and yes. it's not he may change his yeah. mind, once it's yeah, too well, late. Have that, that time clock. I met Rod when I was 27. And, uh, you know, I had a while to think about yeah, it. But yeah. then, it, it, you know, age was creeping up. When you get to about 35, you know, 35 to 40, that's when it becomes a little yeah. tricky. So what changed drops. things? Because obviously you've got two children. So yes. what, ha what happened? Um, I, I think what was, what was healthy between the two of us, we, we knew from the beginning how we both felt. And then we didn't make it, a, <laughs> we didn't make it an issue. You know, we never yeah. kind of argued about it. Um, and it was... Um, one beautiful summer, sunny day, we'd had lunch with t uh, a dear friend of ours who announced that she was having a baby and they were going to be married. A wonderful news. And I remember sitting in the garden on the way oh, when we got home and we were sort of reminiscing. It was 9-11, one of the anniversaries, and thinking about all the families and, you know, people that had been lost. And then Rod turned to me and said, Darling, I want to make a family. Oh. Oh. And I was a baby. And then I was like, what? Pill and it, um, one month later, bam! Really? Oh, it was, gosh, yes. you're lucky. So I was, I was obviously ready. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, um, and then we got married. We did yeah. it the other way around. Um, and then it took a lo lot longer for our second child and three IVFs later. And we but had it our, is always, you know, when you see well. people, because I know um, Rod's best friend is Ronnie yes. Wood. Yes. Yeah. And when you, when I saw him getting married to Sally, who's, what, 30-something? Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, I'd be interested to see what's going to happen here. No, because we, she's Rod going and I to feel a bit guilty children. in that respect. But, but on the other hand, they've praised us for, for kind of giving them the courage to have a child because we said, look, when a couple are in so much in love and, you know, you, you can afford to have mm. help, uh, the, ch the child is going to be brought up in a loving environment, yeah. um, very close family-knit family they have, and, uh, you know, Sally's of a young age, to deny a young woman a baby, <coughs> then she will end up resenting you yeah. long term, mm. and then the relationship could possibly break down anyway. And if that man really loves her, they've got enough children anyway, one more, mm. you know, mm. and so we kind of encourage yeah. them. But in, in, terms of it worked. <laughs> in terms of families, you know, or a couple being, being married and deciding that the not having a children thing is, is, a, is, a, is a deal breaker, and in terms of it, it is going to, to break up their relationship, really, really close friend of mine, that I'd, you know, I'd rather not say her name on TV, was married, and uh, her, her partner and then husband had said, yes, one day, one day. Yeah. And then uh, when, when they had been married for a couple of years, he basically just said, I lied. I knew you'd leave me if, if I said no. Oh. And it was, it was terrible. And it, eventually he, he said, well, all right, well, we, can have a, we can have a child, but it's yours, and you can raise it. And oh. eventually she divorced him. Happily, oh. she then went on to meet another really, really lovely man, and they now have a child of their own. Yeah. Well, yeah. marriage is all about honesty. And, and yes. share, you know, and yeah. So he wasn't that honest. Was, no. I mean, the well, interesting thing about the Linekers, because I think somebody said, you know, wouldn't they have had this conversation mm. beforehand? Yeah. Maybe they did. I mean, in a way, because yeah, yeah. with my 
Now, my husband, when we first met, I sort of, in my head, I'd had that conversation. I'd sort of made it clear, like you did, that I wanted to have children. And he'd said something like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe I do. And, that kind of, and I thought, yeah. And then, actually, just before we got married, he said, well, no, I don't. I don't want any more children. And I, and I suddenly went... Oh, I think that's a bit of a deal breaker for me. Mm. And it was a, quite a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and anyway, I've eventually persuaded him. Um, <laughs> and I was 40 and he was 46. So yeah. someone sort of said, you yeah. know, statistically yeah. it's unlikely, mm. but it happens. So yeah. great. You, you know, like they say, there are certain conversations you shouldn't have on a first date. Well, on my first date, my boyfriend said, you know, he made it very clear that he wants to have children. Yeah. And I thought, and I actually respected him for, yeah. for, for doing From that. A I mean, point yeah. of view. you know, because I just thought, well, I'm glad, I'm glad we had this conversation because then it gives me the opportunity to say, do I want to pursue this? Mm -hmm. And, you know, as I said, I respected him for having that conversation with me mm. at that time. And, you know, not right now, but also I am 35.